The Ally X is definitely the handheld of the year for me. I've been blown away by this thing. This device has come with me to work nearly every single day since I bought it, and it's been able to play every single game that I've thrown at it. There's a few ways to get this device running a little bit more smooth by slimming out some of the Microsoft bloat inside it. Let me show you how to get rid of a lot of this Microsoft junk that's put onto your Windows handheld. Without further ado, let's just hop right in. Now that we've loaded into Windows, the first thing you want to do is head over to Google and search for the software. In Google, search for Chris Titus, GitHub. It's going to pop up with this one right here, and this is the one that we want to open up. Chris Titus is really good at making a lot of different things to slim down Windows. He's made a lot of different software over the years. You want to open up his WinUtil suite right here. Now we don't want to download it. We want to open this up in PowerShell. Scroll down the page till you see the stable branch. Click on this little copy icon. Then all we have to do is minimize it. It's also worth noting, you might have to disable your antivirus because Windows doesn't like it when you're changing settings to Windows itself. It's a very safe piece of software to run though, so I don't think you're gonna have any issues with this. Search for PowerShell, you're gonna see it pop up. You're looking for the regular PowerShell here, not the x86 one. Right click on that and run that as administrator. Then all you have to do is right click and it'll paste that command in. Then just press enter to run it. Takes a second, but it should open up his little toolbox tool here. This allows us to do a few different things. It's a really cool piece of software. You can install a whole bunch of apps all in one go. This is very similar to Ninite, but there's a lot more to it here. The option we're looking for though is under the tweaks page. I recommend using the standard option, but I'll go over kind of what this is doing. If you click the standard option, it's going to do a whole bunch of different things. I don't recommend creating a restore point, but I've disabled that in mine specifically, but you can leave that enabled if you prefer. Essentially what this is going to do is it's going to delete out all the temporary files in Windows. It's also going to disable a lot of the bloat features. It's also going to disable things like activity tracking, data collection, Wi-Fi sense, location tracking. If you have a home group, you probably want to disable this as well. And on a Windows handheld, since we use hibernation over sleep, so our handhelds don't wake in our bags, I would also uncheck the disable hibernation feature. So mostly these are just cleanup features and just disabling data collection stuff. It's also going to clean up the Windows services. Underneath the advanced tweaks, there's nothing really that you have to disable here. I like to disable the background apps. This is going to make stuff from like the Microsoft Store not run in the background while you're playing something else. I also like to remove OneDrive and Microsoft Edge. There's nothing really else that we need to enable on this page specifically. So once you've checked all these and you're okay with the options, just go ahead and click run tweaks. This is going to go ahead and do everything that we just checked off in the background on his script. It's quite amazing to see how much bloat Windows puts into a handheld, but it's really cool to see all this being disabled at once. This little list here shows everything that he cleaned up with his script. At the very end, it's going to run to Windows Disk Cleanup so we can clean up the disk itself. This might take a little while, especially if you've upgraded a Windows version as those can be over 15 gigabytes. After a little while, this should finish though. It's worth noting that this part here after running the scripts does take a second to complete. It's mostly because of this disk cleanup here that takes a little while to populate afterwards. On the ROG Ally X anyways, this should take anywhere from about 2 to 5 minutes to finish. So as mentioned, that took a little while, but this cleaned out a lot of those services after the disk cleanup. This should make Windows way more responsive. A lot of the services that weren't needed or background collection services were to set to disabled or manual. It should just say tweaks are finished once that's all done. So we can just minimize that and go back to the other window. We got a disk based notification as well. Just click OK on that. One over from the tweaks is the config window. This has a lot of really helpful features in it too. If you find that your Windows handheld is not working correctly, you can essentially just run the system corruption scan and it'll do everything in one go. That checks things like SFC and repairs your Windows installation. This also repairs the Windows image itself. 
Windows has gotten corrupted on my desktop and on a few of my different handhelds a couple times. So this would definitely save me there. It's a good way to refresh your handheld without reinstalling the OS. If you're having Wi-Fi issues too, you can hit reset network and it'll do a fresh reset of your Wi-Fi adapter. If you're having issues with the Windows update, you can also reset that here too. Under the updates tab, you can change a few different things. Now, if you're comfortable with Windows updating, you can just go ahead and leave this as default. My ROG Ally, I haven't had any issues with the updates, so I'm just gonna leave this stock. All around, this is just a really handy tool. I really like this and how easy it is to use. Every once in a while, it's not a bad idea to run your system corruption scan too. I think it's a pretty cool little tool and it lets us change a lot of the things in Windows that make a lot of these devices a little slower than they should. It's pretty nice how we can install a lot of these other apps too. So if you had a brand new handheld, this is a really good way to get things started. What do you think of WinUtil for Windows? Anyways, once that's all done, we can go ahead and close this. After that's all done, I would recommend restarting the handheld. One of the other big features that causes a lot of performance loss on these Windows handhelds is core isolation. If you search for that in the start menu, it should pop up and just go ahead and disable the memory integrity. This can cause huge losses in FPS depending on the game and which version of Windows you're running. I'd recommend disabling this on all my Windows handhelds. The last thing that I would recommend disabling is data encryption. If you search for encryption in the start menu and open that up, scroll down to the bottom of the list and you're going to see manage device encryption. Just click that. For the ROG allies that I've used, this has been turned on by default. This has huge ramifications to performance. Make sure to disable this and you should be good to go. As I mentioned, after that, give your device a restart or go ahead and shut it down. Hopefully that helps get your handheld a little bit more stable and fluid for your gaming. If you have any questions about what we talked about today, make sure to ask in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. And as always, thanks for watching.